We are honored to have the CEO of a road accident fund, uh, Mr. Collins Itualo, with us today. And um, welcome to Mpumagapa, uh, CEO. I know, uh, CEO, that you've been crisscrossing um, the, the country, and this time around you are here in the Eastern Cape. And I just want uh, you to tell us, we hear that uh, the Road Accident Fund is busy transforming um, for the benefit of the claimant. And uh, I just want you to tell us more about this journey and the benefits um, to the road accident victims. Well, we have been trying to get away from this of lawyers, uh, from our people, and what we have done is opened up a contact center. <laughs> uh, that contact center has got about 300 people there waiting for a call. Uh, 087-820-1111 is the number <laughs> of this call center. Uh, we are making sure that uh, our people can call and ask uh, about their claims, but also we are making sure that they can easily buzz us and we'll call them back. So you don't have to have air time mm -hmm. to actually uh, contact us. Okay, when you say you are trying to do away with lawyers, so you do have um, capacity to assist uh, the victim, because there has always been a cry that uh, lawyers are robbing um, the, the, the victims of, the, um, of, the, of, of what you do to them. So as uh, uh, enough, do you have um, sufficient uh, manpower to handle the things that we have? We have got capacity, we have capacity all the time. Mm -hmm. What we do have is a situation where people come from lawyers. So mm -hmm. when you give the lawyers all your information for this, things, they will not give us all the information mm -hmm. that they are supposed to give. And consequently, then it takes us longer to be able to uh, finalize the claim. We are working towards making sure that we finalize the claim within 120 days. Mm -hmm. It used to take us about four years. Mm -hmm. So that must tell you that the rough is actually changing uh, to be more things. Okay. Uh, tell me, um, uh, Mr. Letuano, how, how long um, a case uh, should be? For instance, uh, if what someone comes 10 years later um, to claim, uh, are you able to track back uh, the authenticity of the claim? No, you, you, the law says it must be within three years. So okay. it's, uh, it's after three years it, it prescribed, so we won't be able to help you that. Okay. If you are injured and it has been less than three years, mm -hmm. we encourage our people to come. And also, even if you have a lawyer, please come and check how much we have paid you out. Because mm -hmm. what we are picking up is that yeah. half the time you get more money and the lawyer doesn't tell you how much you got. So mm. we want you to come and ask us and we'll tell you how much you got so that at least when the lawyer tells you, you can verify. Is there a prescribed prescribed um, percentage a, a lawyer should charge? Uh, yes, they can charge. It, it is actually 25% mm -hmm. maximum, meaning yeah. there, are far, there are costs or 25%, whichever is lower. So if the costs are lower than 25%, they must charge where the costs are. So okay. if it's a, it's, it's a higher, then it must be 25% of the max. Okay. Yeah, so so that's a quarter it. of the money yeah. at max. Yes. So make sure that you know that the lawyer says how much your cost is. And mm -hmm. if your, their costs are that much, mm -hmm. and that cost is less than 25%, that's, much, that's how much they must charge you. All right. And then what, what um, are some of the changes, um, see, oh, that someone claiming uh, the road has been With us, which is much more cheaper than actually going through a lawyer. A lawyer can easily tell you that it will cost you 100,000 to actually go and do assessments. Mm. So, people do come to us, we'll help you to actually go and do your assessment so that you can come and claim uh, from ourselves. All right, um, so I know that you are um, uh, in a hurry uh, today, but I just want you to bring us closer to the event uh, we are attending um, today. How do um, crashes impact? Uh, Ralph's uh, operations? Well, remember that uh, crashes change people's lives. And in changing the person's life, uh, sometimes people lose their limbs. Mm. Uh, sometimes people do sit on wheelchairs and all those things. But in this case, we are working with this orthopedic hospital because it's a specialist hospital for broken bones and broken backs and all those things that come with it. 
I said it's very, very important that as we look at um, uh, what we call clinical outcomes, mm. we get better clinical outcomes for our people. They are able to walk and do all those things. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have revamped that, that um, physiotherapy ward that we are using. It is not for the first time we are doing it. If you look at the uh, pediatric ward, which is for children, mm. we have also changed it. But we have seen the main ward, it does not look good. So we, we have said that we want to also come and do that. Um, we are going to do a big revamp here mm -hmm. uh, over the line next year. So we are going to be working very closely with management here to make sure that some of the areas, because we have seen that some of the areas that we have touched on mm -hmm. look good, but the other areas are not. We want our people to walk into facilities that are like private facilities. So it's important that we do that. For us, it's important that road accident victims, when they come here, they get the best treatment that they could have got. So mm. It's very important for us to be able to make sure that our people get the best treatment they can get. Well, people are appreciating the information. Fully so Tabosha says, thanks for the info. See, rough, rough. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that you've um, given out that uh, toll-free number, we will also get hold of it and we will repeat it over and over again um, while we are still here. And they also appreciate uh, the 25%, the information that some of the people really, really did not know. They were taken for a ride by some um, lawyers.